I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Python playlist and we're gonna take another look at SQL Lite or SQLite. And uh, what I wanna show you today is how easy it is to do uh, select queries with some joins in them and things like that against your SQLite uh, database. And so without further ado, let's get to our select queries against SQLite. Okay guys, so what I wanted to show you today is just how easy it is to do some very simple select uh, statements on an SQLite database uh, using uh, various methods. And I'll show you two of those today. I'm going to use pandas for one and I'm going to use uh, I'm just going to use the cursor for the second one just to show you how easy it is. And this is a, a record tracks, uh, you know, playlist database um, that is called Chinook, uh, which is a great uh, database. Uh, many thanks to the creators. Check them out on, uh, on GitHub. And also this version of the Chinook database was done by sqlite-tutorial.net, so make sure to check them out. And uh, uh, so what I want to show is, uh, first of all, we're using SQLite 3. We're going to import uh, that and the error, and uh, just to make it easy to reference there. And then I'm going to print starting to, to show where our code execution is going. Uh, as it runs, uh, it's going to give some feedback to you, uh, back to the user. And uh, uh, what we're going to do is we'll create a CNN for our connection object. We'll set that to nothing for now or to none. And then I'll create a connection string. And that's the path to the Chinook.db file. And you can download that, uh, like I said, um, sqlite-tutorial.net. Um, those guys uh, have done... Uh, the download and uh, I'm not sure if this is their music that was in there uh, but we're gonna have a look and see if this is uh, what kind of music there is and things like that um, so we're gonna use a try accept and then uh, finally uh, structure here because uh, um, when we use database connections it's very very important to make sure if there's an error that you trap it and then you close the database connection so you don't leave that open on your way out. And so uh, we'll create a connection object. We'll say CNN equals sqlite3.connect and we'll put the connection string in. We'll give some feedback saying database connected. And then we're gonna do accept error as E. And um, that E variable is going to give us uh, some information if something goes wrong. Very likely I'm going to break some stuff in here, and so you'll see that getting printed um, as we go. Like if I screw up the SQL, um, this gives you sort of a, a nice easy way. If you're doing select statements, you can, you can play around. Um, so we'll do our finally uh, block here, and we're going to say if, if connection. So if there's something there, then cnn.close. And uh, that's going to basically elegantly close it if there's some well, whether or not there's an issue, if there's an issue, it closes it. If not, if there's no issue, it closes it. And that's great. And we'll do uh, a print um, done, which will, because it's not inside the block there, that done is going to show, doesn't matter what happens in here, it's gonna, that done is going to show at the very end so we know that our script finished. And uh, what I'll do is inside of that uh, See, just after cnn.close, I'll put print, you know, database connection close, just so we know that it went through that step uh, while the code was running, and that's going to help. So I'm just going to hit F5, and there we go. Okay, so um, it started, the database connected, uh, the database connection closed, and then we're done. And we haven't even done a select statement yet, but we managed to open and close our database. Okay, so that means we can go back inside of our try block here, and we can create some SQL. Um, so generally when I'm creating SQL, I mean, everybody does it differently. I have another, uh, the previous uh, SQLite um, video that I did shows you how you can run your SQL from, uh, from a file, like an, a .SQL file, so that you don't have to do it in your code here. You can actually just pick it up from a file, but today, what we're going to do is we'll we'll do something very very simple to start. We'll say select star from albums, 
and uh, that's like the most simple one. There's an albums table in there, and uh, there there is a, a diagram that is available for this database, so you can do some practice on it. And then what we'll do is we'll go uh, cs equals uh, cnn.cursor, so that's our cursor object. This is the first method I'm going to show you, um, and we'll do cs.execute SQL, and I'm actually going to put that, I'm going to put that into a variable. I'll say uh, records is equal to cs.execute SQL, and then I can go, you know, for, you know, rec in rec, so for each record in the records, print the rec, print the record, <laughs> very easy. And, uh, and that's very, very simple. That's the first way that we can do this. If you just need to retrieve, um, you know, uh, the records like this, that you can see this has 347. Well, it has an ID that goes up to 347. I don't know if there's any missed ones in there. Uh, but you can see this is the, all of the uh, albums that are in there. And uh, for those about Rock, We Salute You, which is an excellent album, um, I would uh, recommend that. There's actually a lot of pretty neat albums in here. I've not seen this list, so, uh, but I like it already. Um, so that's the first method that we can use uh, to, uh, to, to do this kind of stuff. But the second method is we can use pandas. And pandas, as if you have not used pandas yet, um, pandas allows us to have sort of like more rich data frames in memory uh, for use in things like data science and, and data engineering and things like that. And pandas is very, very good for allowing you to do, um, you know, uh, statistics and things like that. And then you can connect pandas to output like, you know, um, graphs and things like that, which is really awesome. So if you don't know pandas yet, make sure you check it out. Um, but what we'll do is we'll say df equals uh, pd.readsql, that's our pandas. And we just put in the SQL and the connection. And then that's one line, you've got your data frame. So <clears throat> what we'll do is I'll print off the head and tail of that, you know, the 10 records of head and tail there. And uh, you can see it starts, database connected, and there you go. We've got our first 10 records, it shows by printing. Now keep in mind, all of the records are in the data frame, but I only printed off the first 10 and the last 10. Um, that's what those two statements there were, the df.head and df.tail. So those are two methods that you can use to extract data from, the, from SQLite. And if you know the, um, you know, if you have the ERD for it, the, the uh, relationship diagram, then uh, you'll be able to, to do all kinds of joins and things like that we're going to do that now just to demonstrate. And so you can see here, I'm going to, you know, put my albums, I've got my albums, uh, select star from albums there, and I've got joint artists, and I'm going to put a, uh, an alias on that so that I've got ALB for albums, and then I'm going to put ART for artists. So that join that you see there, that is actually a short form for inner join, um, which I'll change back here in a minute. Uh, but you can see I'm going to join artists uh, ART on ART.artist ID equals ALB.artist ID. And um, that's going to um, join the artist table to the album table. And then we'll have two tables that are joined together. So now we can get the, the artist and the album together. Um, and we can choose what fields that we, which fields that we want from those uh, tables. So I could say a, alb dot title, and uh, and then art dot um, name. They've used name for the name, um, so we'll give that an alias and we'll call it artist, um, so that we know what that what that second field is. And uh, and so now we've got the title uh, from from the, uh, where is it here, oh, the, uh, the album table, there we go. So we've got alb.title and then we've got art.name and art is the artist table. And we join that together based off of the ID number in there. So, and we're calling, and we could say as artist, we could say art.name as artist. Um, the short form is just to put a space and put artist after it. So if you can use either, either of those and uh, and then what I'll do is I'll put an order by 
on the end of this, I'll just say order by artist name. Um, and I'll hit F5 and I broke it already. So oh, I need a, need a closing quote on there. I'm really bad for that. So there we go. We hit F5 and, uh, and now you can see we've got, uh, for those about to rock, we salute you. That's the ACDC album. And, uh, and, and, and that's great. So we've able to connect the title and the artist together, um, into one, uh, one record set coming out and we put that in a data frame so we could use that for all kinds of stuff if we wanted to. So if you're going to continue on and do additional stuff with the data frame I would do that after the finally block um, because let that database connection close and then you've got the the data frame in memory and that's the best place the safest place to keep it instead of if you make some error and then somehow you leave the connection open and that's not uh, as nice of a way of doing it. Now we can use all kinds of other um, we can use all kinds of other uh, um, joins in here, and we can do a left join. We'll do tracks. So uh, TKS on on TKS dot album ID equals ALB dot album ID, and now we can actually uh, I'll clean this up a little bit here. So now we've got one field on each line. So now we can say, give me the title, the artist, and the track name. And again, in this database, they used a name for the name of the field. So we'll call that track name as an alias. Uh, like we said before, we could say tks.name as track name, uh, but uh, we can also just put the alias after. And we can add another order by if we want there. Uh, we can throw an order by onto our SQL and order by the artist.name and then the track name. Um, and, uh, and then we could uh, go ahead and hit F5. And I oh, need a closing bracket on there. Uh, sometimes I hit F5 just to see what's wrong with it. Um, so there we go, we broke it again. I'm missing, I'm missing something, let's see. Uh, it looks like the uh, track name needs to be, I put tks.trackname in the order by. Um, so I need to put tks.name there. So let's do that. We'll change that to uh, tks.name. And uh, let's see, I think I need a comma. Oh yeah, I need a comma after artist here. Let's check that out. Okay, and then save that. And now each time that the error came up, the database still closed. And that's an important concept. Um, so uh, we did get the end result here. But if we had not put the uh, close in the try accept block, then it would have uh, left that connection open. So make sure you do this, uh, you know, whether or not you're using SQLite or another database. It's very, very good to catch your errors and then close your connection. Otherwise, you could run into problems connecting again in some cases. Um, so make sure that you pay attention. Um, so we'll add another left join here. We're going to do left join genre on uh, gen dot uh, genre ID is equal to tks dot genre ID. And that's going to join that uh, genre table in there. And the left join says, give it to me whether or not the genre was specified for this. Uh, and I'll put a comma in there this time after the track name. And I'll put gen uh, dot name because they use name again for that one and we'll call the alias genre name. So now we've got, um, we've got all, of the, um, all of those fields there. And if I run that one now, now we're printing the head and tail and you can see the three dots in the ellipsis in the middle just after let there be rock. Um, that's saying that there's additional fields in there and there was too much data to show in that little screen there. Uh, but we do have the data in a data frame and that's really great, but it looks like it's out of order because we put artist name we actually put need to put album name and then the artist name in the sort order so now if we uh, oh I broke it there we go I don't think they used name for album yeah I think they used title for that uh, that's the one table that did not use name they didn't say able name album name they said album title so there we go we hit F5 and now we've got um, that sorted so and justice for all uh, which is an excellent album uh, in the metal category there, genre. Um, that one came up first, and then we have Zeropa and, uh, 
and and black light syndrome below that. So that's uh, that's basically how we can do very very simple um, select statements uh, and throw them into data frames and things like that and using pandas and uh, and and that's really really handy and just like all select statements in our SQL uh, we can put a where clause in as well if we wanted to uh, we can uh, use that against SQLite in just the same way that we would do it. Uh, for other databases, and this is good practice for you guys. So we could say, you know, where alb.title uh, is like. I'll use a like here, and we can use the uh, single quotes with uh, our percent sign, and then percent sign. So any records that are like justice in the title, uh, we can put that in there, and you can see our justice for all comes up, and you can see that the head and tail, because there's only eight records. Um, the head and tail are actually the same because we specified to return 10 records for each of those. So there, there we go, and we've got um, and justice for all. And then, um, you know, we could change it up. Uh, we could look for a genre in just the same way. Uh, we could say where uh, gen.name is equal to metal, and that's going to give us uh, all of the, the metal that's in there. In there. And you can see here's our uh, Guns N' Roses, um, Iron Maiden, another one of my favorites, and uh, and there we go. We can we can do those kinds of things uh, with our select statements. And just to uh, demonstrate the alternative way of getting the data, uh, once again, what I'll do is I'll say CS equals uh, CNN.cursor. So we'll set up that cursor instead of using a pandas data frame. We can actually just use the cursor object and we can say uh, rex is equal to cs.execute and we'll say sql and then we can loop through those just like we did before we could say for rec and rex uh, print the record and uh, and then see what we get so um, I'll hit f5 on that and uh, and see what we get so that's gonna loop through all of them returning um, uh, each row um, and uh, basically you can see you know, comma delimited there and uh, that's great you can see there's a lot of these metal because this is the metal uh, and I see uh, oh my goodness who put Lenny Kravitz in metal genre okay so uh, well that's that's that I guess but anyway that's how you can do select again against SQLite Need more resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description.